my friend David Mead, who's one of the few people. Is David? Hey guys. Hi, David. <laughs> He's one of the few people who's learned uh, my process um, and goes around and, and does it himself. So you couldn't be in, in better hands. I think you're actually better at it than me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Awesome. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> you know, it's like Henry Ford may have figured out the car, but it doesn't mean you want to drive a Model T anymore. <laughs> same, same thing. When you're an organization that starts with why, people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. It's all about perception. It's about looking at things in a little different light. Take what you already have, the things that you know, and to help you look at them from a slightly different angle. To look at them through a different lens. And by considering an alternative perspective, you may just be inspired to take actions you never thought to take before, which may lead to results you never thought you could get before. What about using your organization as a platform to make a difference in the lives of people? Why, how, and what? Because they are driven by this, and their actions are based upon it, the experience that you get is going to be consistent no matter who you talk to. The concept of having what you do and say be consistent with why you do what you do is the idea of authenticity, right? And it's not just about saying and doing all the right things. We all have to-do lists. We all know the things that we have to do every day. Sometimes I think what we forget is who we are being when we're doing those things. It's about how you show up. It's about why you're really there to begin with. Are you there to check off a list of things to do? No, you're there to be of service. You're there to be who you really are at your best.